hello everyone once again welcome to pm networking guys today in this video we are going to configure gre tunnel vpn gre tunnel with nat with network address translation so first of all let's start configuration from router number one i have already configured ip address on all devices like on pc routers internet and you can see i don't have access of internet now actually i have configured only ip address on the interfaces of isp router now on pcs let me show you ip so ip here i am running ip 192.168.10.1 and default gateway is 192.168.10.10 so just i am uh, making you familiar with this topology so here you can see in this land i am running ip from 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network and here this is my lan 2 here i am running network 192.168.20.0 so i have assigned ip address to machine this machine from this network this machine to from this network okay in the same way i have configured ip address on these two pcs from this network so that's why IP address of machine 1 is 192.168.10.1 and on router interface on router inside interface I have configured this IP address 192.168.10.10 so it will become default gateway for this user now PC, IP address of PC 2 is 10.2 and IP address of PC 1 is 10.1 let me ping to PC number 2 from PC number 1 so you can see I'm able to ping. Let me ping my default gateway. Uh, ping 192.168.10.10. So I am able to ping my default gateway, right? So configuration on uh, computers and switches is fine. Let me show you uh, communication between computer 3 and computer 4. So let me ping computer 4 from computer number 3 192.168.20.2 fine so it's pinging let me ping default gateway from this network also ping 192.168.20.10 so here also you can see i am able to ping default gateway guys first of all i am going to configure nat and on router so ip interface brief exclude and assign here also you can see ip address this on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 i am running public ip address and on ethernet 3 slash 0 i am running private ip address so here on my edge router ip address is 100.1.1.1 and on isp side ip address is 100.1.1.2 so let me ping 100.1.1.2 from here so you can see i am able to ping okay so there is connectivity from router 1 to isp no problem let me show you ip on pc2 so ip interface brief and exclude and assign so here also you can see on f 1 slash 0 ip address is 101.1.1.1 right this is my outside interface and on my inside interface ip i am running ip 192.168.20.10 okay let me ping um, isp from here 192.168. no no 101.1.2 so yes i am able to ping now can i ping 8.8.8 .8 which is running on isp router so now i am not able to ping 8.8.8 .8. so here what we need to do first first of all we need to configure a default route toward isp so let me configure default route guys here config t ip root 0 .0 .0, 0.0.0 0.0.0 exit interface will be f1 slash 0 and next stop ip address is 101.1.1.2 right now can i ping 8.8.8 .8 ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. So yes you can see now i am able to ping but my inside interface cannot ping source if i will define source e 3 slash 0 so you can see my lan user are not able to access internet not able to 
ping internet so here i am going to configure nat first so guys very quickly let me run inside and outside command f1 slash 0 this one is ip nat outside and interface e3 slash 0 this one is ip nat inside right after that we need to create one access list so access list 10 permit we had already discussed these things right how, uh, how to configure nat pad so here i am not going to explain you command directly i am running command only okay so access list 10 permit 192.168.20.0 wildcard mask will be this one okay and now ip nat inside source source match from list number 10 and convert it into interface f1 slash 0 ip address fine now can i ping my lan interface so yes now you can see my lan user are able to access internet now pc 3 or pc 4 can access internet so let me check from pc 3 ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. So yes, you can see I am able to ping. So let me configure NAT on router 1 first. Then we will configure tunnel. So interface F0 slash 0 say IP NAT outside. And interface E3 slash 0. This one is IP NAT inside. Fine. After that we need to define one default route. So IP root 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.0 exit interface is f0 slash 0 and next stop IP address is 100.0.0.2 fine after that access list 10 permit 192.168.10.0 wildcard mask is this one okay so it's saying that duplicate access list 10 permit 192.168.10.0 10 dot 0 wildcard mask is 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 it's saying duplicate permit statement ignored so let me check access list i think i have already configured access list here so access list so here you can see access list is already running here now i am going to configure nat ip nat inside source list 10 interface f0 slash 0 overload okay now can i ping 8.8.8 .8 yes i am able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. can my lan user ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 source e3 slash 0 so yes my lan user is also able to ping now i am going to configure tunnel interface here so interface tunnel 1 after that tunnel sources tunnel sources f0 slash 0 and tunnel destination is 101.1.1.1 okay remote public ip so now you can see tunnel interface is up or you can verify it but first of all let me run ip address so i am running ip address from network 10.1.1.1 slash 24 network right from this network i am running ip on tunnel interface so 255.255.255.0 and now if you will check so interface tunnel 1 or what you can do you can say so run interface tunnel 1 so here you can see on tunnel interface i have configured this ip address tunnel source is f0 slash 0 and tunnel destination is 101.1.1.1 so ip interface brief exclude unassigned so see the tunnel interface where is tunnel interface So I think tunnel interface here, here you can see tunnel interface. Port is up. Status status is 
up and LAN protocol is also up. So now I am going to configure tunnel on router number two. So let me take access of router two here. Config T interface tunnel one IP address is one nine sorry ten dot one dot one dot two two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero after that tunnel source is my F1 slash zero interface tunnel source and tunnel destination is tunnel destination is 100.1.1.1 right now let me check so IP interface brief so here you can see my tunnel interface is up right okay now let me check that is connectivity there between tunnel interfaces of router 1 and router 2 so I am pinging 10.1.1.1 from router 2 so you can see I am able to ping 10.1.1.1 okay so now these user are able to access internet these user are able to access able to access internet right these two routers are able to ping their tunnel interface right that means tunnel is also working fine but now pc1 cannot communicate with pc number three right let me show you so here i am on pc1 this pc can ping 8.8.8 yes this machine is able to ping 8.8.8 but can this user ping uh, the user who is sitting in different location ping 192.168.20.1 suppose 20.1 so here you can see destination is unreachable so destination host unreachable right so I am not able to ping these LAN user cannot communicate with this LAN user now so actually actually on R1 if you will check the routing table of router 1 so IP root so there is one default root there is one default root towards ISP but is there any root available for 192.168.20.0 no so whenever this router will receive traffic for 20.0 network there is no any prefix so it will use what default root so it will use this root and it will forward to ISP and what ISP will do ISP will simply drop the packet because in your packet if my LAN user is suppose this machine is forwarding an IP address uh, forwarding a, a ping request to this computer so source will be 192.168.10.1 destination will be 192.168.20.1 so when router will receive it will check their routing table in their routing table there is one default route towards ISP so it will forward to ISP and as you know we are running NAT over here so it will translate source so destination will be 192.168.20.1 and source will be the IP address of this interface IP address of public interface which is 100.1.1.1 so but when internet router will receive internet router will check destination IP so destination IP is 20.1 and there is no any information for 20 network in the routing table of ISP router so ISP will drop the traffic so what I can do we can run any routing protocol or we can configure a static routing between router 1 and router 2 through tunnel interface through tunnel interface and guys by default private to private communication over public is not possible how many time I said this that by default private to private communication is not possible over public network so the technology which we are using to make this thing possible is VPN so through VPN only we can make communication possible between two branch between two private branch over public network okay so now on router 1 and router 2 through tunnel interface I am going to share the inside network right what I can do I can configure this network on this router statically as well 
but for this network exit interface will be tunnel because if exit interface will be tunnel then source will be this one ip address of this interface destination will be this one ip address of uh, router 1 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface so my exit interface will be tunnel interface so let me configure a static route first here go to router number 1 and here i am going to define ip route 192.168.20.0 submit mask 255.255.255.0 and exit interface is tunnel 1 fine so now if you will check so ip root here you can see there there is one a specific network for 192.168.20.0 slash 24 and this network is connected on tunnel interface and as you know whenever exit interface is tunnel so this time suppose if router will receive a traffic where destination is 20.1 right so it will check the routing table in the routing table there is one entry and exit interface is tunnel so whenever exit interface is tunnel interface that time router will perform encapsulation router will add GRE header with actual data so in GRE header see in actual in actual packet source will be 192.168.10.1 destination will be 192.168.20.1 right but in upper header in GRE header source will be the IP address of this interface and destination will be the IP address of this interface and both network are connected through internet so internet know each other right so this is how we can make communication possible between two private network so in the same way let me configure a static route on router 2 as well so go to router number 2 and let me run command here ip root 192.168.10.0 sorry 255.255.255.0 and exit interface is tunnel 1 fine here also you can see so ip interface brief so my tunnel interface is up so ip root in the routing table of this router there is a specific root for 192.168.10.0 network here you can see tunnel interface so now my LAN user can communicate with the LAN user which is located in different branch so ping 192.168.20.2 now you can see I am able to ping okay guys so this is basic configuration of GRE tunnel okay hope you like this video if yes please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel okay and we will meet soon in next video in next video I will show you troubleshooting of this network I will show you how to troubleshoot GRE tunnel and then we will we will understand IPsec VPN right maybe I will make advanced videos as well right because nowadays I am making a topic wise video only right I am not making course so definitely I will cover each and every important topics of CCNA CCNP and CCI here so there is one playlist a uh, name of that playlist is a special for network engineer where I am uploading this type of configuration okay so make sure you will watch all videos of that uh, playlist okay so that's all for today guys then bye bye we will meet soon in next video bye bye hope you all are doing great